Okay, so here we are today. We are on Wheat Close Road, which is in Baron Furness, um, very close to the Abbey, um, 10 minutes from the BAE shipyard. And we're gonna have a look at a lovely detached three bedroom property. So plenty of parking, single garage, which is lined. Uh, your boiler's kept in your garage as well. Um, driveway here, get two cars in the driveway there, quite amply and then a nice low maintenance garden area uh, with your lawn there. And we'll just come round to the side. So side gate, which leads back round to your garden. And there's a gate on the other side, as you saw a second ago above the garage. So we're gonna have a little look inside the house now. Okay. So straight into the entrance hallway and then into the main living area. So just come in here, you can yeah, idea of the size of the room. Video is always hard to tell, the pictures give a better idea of the actual size of the room. This is quite a nice living space this. Um, good size, lovely bay window on the front there, lets in lots of light. I'll just come to the corner here. A couple of little bits and pieces still to be done, only minor door handles, little bits like that. So that's your main living space. Then this is your kitchen dining area. So there is your main dining part and then it feeds round as you can see there's a conservatory off of that which leads out onto the lovely garden we'll come back to that in a bit and then here's your kitchen so nice breakfast bar kitchen island type uh, there for you to sit at uh, you've got a gas hob electric oven and then there's a built-in dishwasher and then you've got your, obviously your sink uh, the kettle's not included and then you have your fridge and freezer in the corner over here. Uh, behind this door here, that is. Okay, so understairs storage cupboard, that's got a few items in it at the moment, painter, decorator, that sort of bits. So you won't open that, but that's where you're, um, uh, quite a large room for, for storing bits and pieces. And then ground floor, WC, sink, toilet as you can see. And then this is your door that leads out onto your garden area and your paved area. And this is where you could have your washing machine. The garage is, um, as I say it's fully lined, it's, it's got the boiler in there and it has power. So uh, with this only being uh, 13 years, 14 years old, this building, um, it's all done to modern regulations. So you also have a, an EPC rating of a B, which is the cost of living. Is very, is, is very important these days, or certainly has a significant impact on what people want to rent. Um, so there you go, there's your conservatory. You can see your garden there, but we will go outside in a little while. It's gonna lead you off upstairs now. So you get to see another angle of the house doing that. It can help a bit. Apologies if it's a little wobbly sometimes, but uh, so up the stairs. And we'll do the small of the bedrooms first and lead on to the, the master at the end. So this is the, the third smallest bedroom. So I think you'd still get a double bed in there, but it's a good size room for, for a child or could be a lot of people working from home these days. So it could be set up as a, an office stroke study. Um, this is your second bedroom, which is a, a good size double. This also has the benefit of uh, a built-in cupboard stroke wardrobe as well, which is uh, really handy. Just gives you that bit more space. As you can see, really light and airy. Main bathroom, it's a nice vanity unit with your toilet and your, your sink. Separate bath. And then a good spacious shower as well. And that shower runs off your main combi boiler, so you'll have a good, uh, a good water jet on that. Master bedroom, so good size double bedroom. Again, lovely and bright and light with the large windows. Sorry about the door there, sort of move that, gives you a better idea. So you've got a bit of a, a wall across from that door. And then this has an ensuite. So you have a lovely ensuite shower room. So it's difficult to Give you a gauge, but if I come right back into the corner, there we go. And again, off the main combi, you shower there. Okay, 
So that's the inside of the house. So we're just going to have a little uh, wander down to the garden. So back through the house again, you get to see the, the living room again with your double doors onto your, your dining and kitchen area. Naturally, you can go through the conservatory. I'm going to take you through the side today and so you can see the, the side of the property where you've got like your bin store and stuff like that. So bins here, nice and neatly out the way. And then nice fencing down here. Nice size garden this, it's not too much to look after. You've still got space. And this is going to have a, a, a bit more fencing put up here. Um, very similar to the one at the back here. So it's just going to go a bit higher. Just to give that little bit of added privacy really. Um, so that's your garden area and there's your, your lovely conservatory which on a beautiful day today like it is in Barrow would be